I'm your Kuya Ethan, and welcome once again to your favorite show, the Kapampangan Blog. Today, we are going to feature another town in Pampanga, namely Kandaba. Here's your trivial question for this episode. What does the name Kandaba literally mean? Mm. Well, we're going to find that out in this episode. I swear, you're going to find this humorous. <laughs> now I got your attention. Kandaba is one of the oldest settlements during pre-Hispanic time. Not much is known before that period except for the existing proofs that the Kandabenos had their own unique culture, commerce, industries, which is basically farming and fishing. Our vlogger William David went to Kandaba himself to let us see and learn more about this special town. And here he is. Welcome to Kandaba. Let's talk about the information you did not know about Kandaba. The municipality of Kandaba, also known as the home of migratory birds. In 32,000 hectares of Kandaba swamp, there are 17,000 birds visited in every 24 hours. And the Benyos also have very own St. Andrew's Apostle Church, established on May 3, 1575. St. Andrew's Academy is the oldest school here in Candaba, Pampanga, established in the year of 1946. Candaba is also divided in three regions. The Tagalog region, comprising the southern part of Candaba, which was a boundary between it and Baliwag and San Ildefonso. Next is Poblacion region to the west, which boundaries with Santa Ana. And finally is the Kapampangan region to the east, which boundaries San Miguel. Here is Rilion again to show us the swamp area of Candaba. This is the one part of Candaba swamp. Kandaba Swamp it encompasses about 32,000 hectares made of freshwater ponds, swamps, and marshes surrounded by seasonally flooded grasslands. The entire area becomes submerged underwater during the wet season. Now, here is our answer to our trivial question. What does the name Kandaba literally mean? But before that, Kandava derived its name from Kandawe, a name of a place close to Sitio Kulamanas in Kandava. Kandawe was later corrupted by Spanish derivation to Kandava, as told by Dr. Juan P. Gatbonton, one of the most knowledgeable chronicles of the town. It came to pass that every tourist buying fish and the famed buru or pickled fish were almost invariably referred to Kang Daba. The town later on came to be called Kandaba. And finally, another school of thought based on lore perpetuated by word of mouth through the years traced the origin of word Kandaba from Kang Daba or Brother Daba. Daba was a term used for a big earthen jar and obese people were teased by likening them to a daba just like this guy <laughs> and there you have it the town of Kandaba <laughs> thank you so much for watching I Ethan and our vlogger Rilion really appreciate your time with us in this episode 
We really hope that you've learned something and have enjoyed the show. Hanggang kay susunod kabalen.